is Arnold Chimizu. I'm the artistic director for Sonoma County Taiko. And welcome to the uh, Emanji Teriyaki Barbecue. Um, we are preparing, a, we've got a show prepared for you today. We're going to start off with the um, first song. first song we have for you is called Sankyoku. Sankyoku meaning three songs. The, uh, the group of people that we have playing today Range in age from Decker Healthy seven to let's see, uh, don't ask. Somewhere above seven. <laughs> and the experience level goes from let's see, Abby, you've been playing with us for two months? No. Well kind of. To uh, probably me in seventeen years. So we've got Age across the board, experience across the board, and uh, you know, just take a look at us, we're all over the place. But <laughs> anyways, uh, come on up, and we're going to start with Sun Kyoku. We hope you enjoy it.
Chen. Um, that piece we call uh, Matsuri Daiko. Matsuri meaning festival. So we wanted to bring the energy up with um, festivally sounding drum patterns. The next piece that we have for you is uh, probably the oldest, oldest song that we know. Um, it comes from the Nagano Prefecture in Japan and uh, was taught to us by uh, our teacher, the San Francisco Taiko Dojo, and taught to them by uh, Osua Daiko in uh, Nagano, which is the kind of the root of where modern Taiko comes from, for modern uh, ensemble Taiko. So the piece is called Hidu Sanzan Gaishi, Hidu being the flying dragon, which in Asia is a good luck uh, animal. And what we're doing with the song is we're calling forth the flying dragon to circle us three times. And with each of that, those circuits, it's going to reverse misfortune, prolong our lives, and encourage happiness. Looks like we're ready. Are you ready? Okay, so this is Hideo, Sandan Gaishi.
business. <laughs> uh, if anybody is interested in learning Taiko, we teach classes um, for the age ranges that I mentioned earlier. So from seven years old, actually, we, we do accept uh, children from the age of five as well, if we have enough of them. Right now, we don't really have the small, small kids, but if there's enough of you that have kids from the five, ages of five years and up uh, that are interested, come see us and we can arrange a class for that. Uh, we teach adults and kids. We do uh, performances at a lot of the local schools. Uh, we've got information at a booth right here next, next to the stage. Uh, we also produce a uh, summer day camp every year. Um, so in a couple weeks, the first session starts uh, July 16th, which unfortunately it's, it's for the younger group of kids from 7 to 10, and we're full up for that week. The second week, though, um, is for kids from the ages of 10 to 14, and we have space open in that session of camp. Um, if you're interested in that, we're offering a special rate for people who sign up today. So if you sign up your kids for the second week session of Taiko and Japanese Culture Camp, today only, there's a, a special discount. So you could ask the, the ladies at the table for the, what the discount rate is. Um, the week long session of camp consists of week language practice and games and some dancing and singing and uh, what else? Uh, we have calligraphy um, and taiko. <laughs> so it's a pretty full week and we're really amazed at kind of what the kids are able to accomplish by the end of the week. Um, we do a little performance at the end of the set of each session with the kids to, to let them show off what they've learned over the course of the week. Um, it's really amazing and it's a lot of fun. So if you're all interested, come see us at the table. Um, looks like we're almost ready. Our next piece that we're presenting today is a piece from uh, actually Saitama Prefecture in Japan. It's a little bit uh, altered for uh, presentation on the stage. It's, a, it's generally a parade number that's playing in a way that you don't ever see the drummers in the parade. They're inside of a big cart. And it's, it's covered, this piece is called Yatai Bayashi. It's um, a song that has really been made popular by uh, the group Koro and Onde Koza. So they, um, it's a really extreme piece. When Koro does it, they play the, the great big jump first with Aiko for about 20 minutes which is really intense by itself. And then they jump down off the Odaiko stand and play Yatai Bayashi for like another 10, 15 minutes. So it's pretty intense. And we have a wide ranging group of performers for you today. Um, ranging in age from seven to somewhere past 40 or so. <laughs>
chair here. participants come from all over the world, uh, Great Britain, Japan, uh, and the continental United States and Hawaii. So that would take us a year to plan. It kind of had kept us, held us back a little bit in some ways as far as our drumming abilities, but it gave us the uh, a really good experience in uh, meeting people from all over the place. So uh, we've gotten a reputation as a group that can put on a good party and a potluck. So, um, after that we decided that we wanted to try to practice drumming a little bit more. So, we stopped doing the camp, which is unfortunate for, uh, you know, a lot of people are regretting. The other groups are regretting that we stopped doing camp. But, uh, as far as, for us, we're able to focus a little bit more on our training and practicing and, and learning new things. So, this is Benchim. Here we hope you learn